In this video, I will share with you five ways men play hard to get. Hello everybody, my name is Greta Perishida, I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value women secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And just before I will share with you, my ladies, the five ways men play hard to get, don't forget to take my free self-awareness test to find out are you behaving as a high value or a low value woman that you will find in the video description box below. Also, a recently published an ebook which is called Devoted Relationships. I highly recommend to get it as I put my newest content in there. And if you like my marriages, goals, and not to drama, as always, you can get it in my YouTube store. And in this video, I will share with you the five ways men play hard to get and and after that do not go away because i have a special awesome bonus tip as well the way number one he pulls away when he doesn't like something so perhaps you guys been talking and chatting and maybe you expressed your opinion in a way that it's not really pleasing to him or perhaps you set in a boundary, or perhaps you just done something that didn't come across as you're trying to please him. Therefore, he got a bit like, you're not trying to please me, you're expressing your opinion and you know that I disagree with that, or you just sit in a boundary, I don't like that. And what he's doing, he's pulling away. So, Sometimes guys pull away because we get irritated and we're throwing in a tantrum as we say. Other times he might pull away because he's showing his frustration to you and he's kind of thinking, okay, well, you turn me off here, so now you come to me and you chase me. Or you try and make it up to me because I don't like this boundary or I don't like what you're saying here even if you're just doing the right thing and expressing your opinion. So what do you do in this case when he pulls away, when you know you just sit in a boundary but you are actually in the right? First, do not chase him, do not come after him, do not try to talk to him, do not blame him or confront him, just leave him to it and let him pull away. Once he comes down and once he realizes that you're not going to chase him after he throwed a tantrum just because you expressed yourself, um, he will come back. If he likes you, he will come back to you like nothing happened. And this way you will also sit in a boundary saying, look, just because I'm being me, I don't need to apologize for it and come after you. This way you're setting in a boundary saying, I'm not here to always please you and if I'm in the right and you're in the wrong, I will let you know and I will not chase apologizing when you're pulling away because it doesn't make sense, right? He will actually end up respecting you more and valuing you more because Everybody respects people that stand up for themselves, that stand up for their beliefs. A man cannot love a woman that he does not respect. So not only that you should not please him when you disagree with him, it's a must for you to respect yourself and to stand up for yourself when you feel like you're in the right and he's in the wrong. Because that's how you're gonna gain respect from his side. Even if he doesn't like it, he will still respect you. Therefore, he will actually start to develop feelings for you. Number two, he nags at saying you are not attractive enough or you're not interesting enough and keeps writing essays how he is not into you. <clears throat> when someone gives attention to you, it's because they care. When people are not into you, they don't put effort to talk to you. So just ignore this, don't show your insecurities, or you can even give him a taste of his own medicine and say, oh, I'm so glad you brought it up because I'm actually on the same page. I feel exactly the same way about you, right? Which actually comes across a bit as a game, but sometimes it does work and 
what happens when you say that a guy ends up showing his cards and he gets insecure and he starts to question you like why you don't like me why this and why that you know so you're like uh-huh here we go you got a taste of your own medicine of your own game Number three, he throws in breadcrumbs. Usually it's one of the three, meaning that he's either not interested enough, he thinks he is the prize, or he thinks that women like what we cannot have. Therefore, he is playing hard to get. The truth is, it doesn't matter which of these three he is doing. The key is don't entertain someone who doesn't seem to be interested enough to put an effort into you properly. It's just not worth your time. Just don't waste your time on guys with breadcrumb. Number four, he will fancy you but will approach and charm your friend first to increase his value, hoping that when you will see him as a prize and will pursue him first. And ladies, if you will fall for this stupid game, the ball will be in his court and as a logical and strategical male, he will not let go of this. So from now on, he will hold on to his princess title and will let you pursue since you prove to him by making the first move that you are happy to do it. Ladies, if pursuing a man would work and men would actually develop some kind of feelings for you when you do it, I would not be bashing it. But pursuing a man does not work. It actually turns him off and very quickly he loses attraction for you. However, none of the guys will ever say it to you and will even encourage you to pursue them as it strokes their egos. But that's about it. And why you should not pursue a man, check out my video right here. Number five, he will be twisting your words to look like you are asking him out. So for example, he will ask you, what are you up to today? Or what are you doing over a weekend? implying that he is about to ask you out, but not asking you out directly. When men tease you like this, a lot of women get impatient and jump in. So for example, he says, what are you doing tomorrow? And you say, mm, I'm free, do you wanna hang out? Then he might say something like, oh, are you asking me out on a date? Even though he's the one that planted the seed. Or for example, this is a very common one. He will say, let me double check and I will let you know. And will leave you hanging till the last minute and very likely will even cancel to see how will you react to this. It is if he does this, do not react and say, don't worry, since I haven't heard from you, I made other plans. That way you show your value that you haven't been waiting around. Now, how to avoid it if you put yourself in this situation? And he says, I will let you know. Tell him, sure, but can you please let me know in the next two hours? As I'm really busy and if you can't make it, I will make other plans. And if he doesn't let you know in a couple hours, just basically make other plans. If he confirms it at the last minute, I would still say, oh, well, since I haven't heard from you, I thought you can't make it, therefore I made other plans. As it's too risky for you to hang around waiting for him to confirm for so long. Also, that way you set in a boundary for the future showing that if he is planning to confirm things at the last minute, the train has already left the building, so it's too late. And now, ladies, I actually have a bonus tip for you. So the bonus tip is you are out with your boyfriend, let's say in a club, you both had a little argument and he punishes you by ignoring you and starting to flirt with your friends. So the intention from his side here is to make you insecure and jealous as a punishment. Basically showing that if we will argue, I'm not scared to leave you and you look how many options I have. 
And if you will overreact to this and will get jealous, he just got a green light to always play this game on you as by overreacting and getting upset, you show him that his game is working and the best that you can do is not to react to this totally. Ignore it, do your own thing and if you are good and you know that you are right, stick to your point and wait for him to come to you. And if he has feelings for you and once he sees that all his jealousy, provocative, manipulative games aren't working, he will make his way to you and will try to make it up. So these were all my situations, how men play hard to get. If you liked this video, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what did you think. Join my high value women's school where we are all in the same boat learning how to be women now high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach. For one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or a member of my team, book us through my website, credibilityshita.com. I also have this incredible package for sale, which is all about being high-value woman. It's all about high-value woman behavior, patterns, how to be a challenge for men, games men play, emotional control, and many, many other goodies. You can get this package in, by following the link in my video description box below. And thank you so much for watching. Kisses from Dorset.